One of the greatest inventors to ever have lived was that of an inventor known as Nikola Tesla, with whom developed the framework for modern day electrical engineering during his time. With breakthroughs in understanding the electromagnetic spectrum and the formation of alternating current, as compared to direct current of which was the prominent use of electricity during his time. Oddly enough, looking back at over his 300 patterns, old interviews and comments, strange discoveries are being made. Back in the 1950s, a switchboard operator discovered a strange message, which led some to suggest that it could have been something in space that was trying to make contact. Nikola Tesla is said to have been the inventor of such devices. History has provided the credit of the creation of the radio to the wrong man, believing that Marconi was the first person who created the radio and tapped into radio waves. But this is hardly the case. In fact, many historians have said that Marconi stole the design and invention of the radio from Tesla himself. When Marconi journeyed to the United States as an immigrant, Nikola Tesla believed the man to be in a similar situation as to he once was, and wanted to help him out by believing that Marconi would be a great friend and partner. Marconi was also a huge fan of Nikola Tesla, and was eager to work with him right away. Taking Marconi at his word and trusting the man, Nikola Tesla then provided Marconi with the key to his laboratories, and told him that he would have full access to the space, his personal notes and his current inventions, believing that by granting Marconi time to familiarise himself with his work, then they would begin to working on newer and better ideas as soon as possible. The effect of what Tesla had done did not dawn on him until he was at a lecture hall, and became aware of Marconi having fled the United States, and stealing Tesla's invention of the radio and the notes that accompanied it, Another thing the two have in common is that both men reported that they intercepted a mysterious message coming from space. In an article titled Talking with Planets back in 1901, Nikola Tesla reported that he received a message while he was conducting experiments in Colorado Springs. This happened back in 1899. He said the following about the message. Even now at times I can vividly recall the incident and see my apparatus as though it were actually before me. My first observations positively terrified me, as there was something mysterious, not to say supernatural, and I was alone in my laboratory at night. But at the time the idea of these disturbances being intelligently controlled signals did not yet present itself to me. It was some time afterward when the thought flashed up upon my mind, that the disturbances I had observed might be due to an intelligent control. Although I could not decipher their message, it was impossible for me to think of them as having been entirely accidental. The feeling is constantly growing on me that I had been the first to hear the greeting of one planet to another. End quote. Nikola Tesla then went on to detail that the message could have come from an advanced life form although he was careful with his wording. Interestingly, Marconi also came forward with a strange encounter, detailing that he also detected a mysterious message. He said the following, I have encountered during my experiments with wireless telegraphy, a most amazing phenomenon. Most striking of all is received by me personally of signals, which I believe originated in space beyond our planet, I believe it's entirely possible that these signals may have been sent by the inhabitants of other planets to the inhabitants of Earth. If there's any human beings on Mars, I would not be surprised if they should find a means of communication with this planet. Linking of the science of astronomy with that of electricity may bring about almost anything. End quote. Interestingly, these comments weren't made up by random people. Regardless of what you think of Nikola Tesla and Marconi, both of them were incredibly intelligent. Tesla's work caught the attention of officials, as they wanted to come through what he'd been working on. One of their reasons for doing this was to ensure that any of his work didn't get into the wrong hands. 
For this reason, they decided it would be best if the documents remained in the property of the Office of Property Custody. This was, however, until the documents and other pieces of Tessa's work mysteriously vanished. Interestingly, enough discussion had been created that the public was aware of some of these alleged inventions, and even caused citizens to question director J. Edgar Hoover, and ask about what Tessa had been working on. These messages have led some to believe that Nikola Tesla intercepted a mysterious message coming from space, and that officials caught wind of this and wanted to conduct their own investigations. Huge amounts of his work were taken shortly after his passing. One document reads as follows. Mr. A. N. Spanel, 1136 Fifth Avenue, New York City. In a telephone conversation with the writer during the late evening of January 8th, 1943, stated that Nikola Tesla, who was one of the world's outstanding scientists, particularly in the electrical field, and who passed away on January 7th, 1943, at the Hotel New Yorker where he maintained his residence, during his lifetime had conducted many experiments in connection with the wireless transmission of electrical power, and what is commonly called the death ray. Mr. Spannell further stated that the notes and records of Tesla's experiments and formulae, together with designs of the machinery necessary to vitalize them, are among Tesla's personal effects, and that steps have been taken to preserve them. End quote. Some have said it's interesting that one day after he passed away, officials were already looking through his workshop, taking his documents, looking through his personal belongings, and taking inventions that he'd created inside his workshop. It's for this reason that some have said that Tesla must have been working on something that was of interest, and that official swooped in one day after he passed away. So what do you make of this interesting discovery by Nikola Tesla, and what do you think he had detected? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.